Dela Wright, my MVVs, welcome. Gurala's family is alleged to have begged the Oni of Ife to calm down over the fact that the Oni of Ife is finding it very, very difficult to understand why Wurola is insisting that she knows uh, ways to separate Queen Nami from the Oni of Ife. So apparently is looking as though um, the Oni of Ife is making frantic effort to ensure that Queen Naomi returns back to him, but Wurala is busy speaking to Queen Naomi, exposing things that Queen Naomi is never aware of, and telling Queen Naomi it is easy to get out of the life of the only of Ife if Queen Naomi truly wants to. That um, everything is looking so cumbersome because that is how the Ife people want it to look. That if Queen Naomi truly wants to leave the only of Ife, that she knows exactly what Queen Naomi needs to do traditionally to let go of the only of Ife or to force the only of Ife's hands to leave her alone. And now with this, with the fact that Wurola is allegedly doing this, even though Oni of Ife has warned her over this time and time again, she's still pushing and telling Queen Naomi that even if Queen Naomi is not ready to go ahead and do those things, that she is going to buy everything, she's going to represent Queen Naomi so that they can, I mean, um, Queen Naomi will be freed from the Oni of Ife. So you know that Intel got to the Oni of Ife um, um, towards the fact that, you know, it's been Wurala the entire time who has been trying to, you know, um, um, strengthen Naomi over this. Remember, before now, Naomi has been insisting she wanted to leave, she wanted to leave. There was a time that um, Naomi's brother even came online to say that Naomi will get married and have children elsewhere and nothing is going to happen. Now, um, the brother was saying that based on the fact that Wurola had already told them everything that they needed to do to get Naomi out of the life of the Oni of Ife. And as we are hearing it now, Oni of Ife is very, very unhappy that Wurola is doing everything that is within her power to ensure that Naomi does not return back to the palace. So the problem is what is her own interest in this? Because if Naomi wants to return back to her husband, it's none of our business. The truth remains that there is no marriage without a problem. And and, you know, it might look as if a man is really, really terrible. But when you go the other side, you find out that perhaps that person you left was an angel. So Oni of Ife is very angry, allegedly, that the family of Urola should ask Urola what her interest is with him and Queen Naomi. That why is it that um, Urola is bent on taking Queen Naomi and showing her the way to get free? That what is her interest? That they should warn Urola that he is not going to come up with this issue again. But by the time he bounces on uh, Murola, that the family should not come for him because they should tell Murola to mind boundaries, mind her business, and stay away from Queen Naomi. Welcome back to my channel, Dela Wright. How are you guys doing? I appreciate you so much. Happy New Week. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. I would forever remain grateful to each and every one of you. If you're here and you're yet to subscribe, kindly go ahead. Hit that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on the notification Sean Bell, I appreciate you so much. Uh, report reaching us right now is that the Oni of Ife is having a very serious altercation with the family of Wurola over the fact that Wurola is bent on sending Naomi out of his life completely. And the Oni of Ife is saying that you were married to me or I was married to you, you left. I did not even um, waste my time. I gave you your freedom because that was what you wanted. And right now, since we, I had this problem with Queen Naomi, you have been trying to force friendship with Queen Naomi, trying to, you know, make Queen Naomi feel as though you are good. Um, uh, uh, you, you, are, you have this collective victim mentality with Queen Naomi. You are trying to show her the way. All you want is to free her out of, you know, the responsibility of this marriage. That you need to know that your relationship or the relationship I shared with you was very, very different from the relationship I shared with Queen Naomi. Queen Naomi is a woman that I love. Queen Naomi is a woman that I still want in my life. Queen Naomi is a woman that I will forever, ever love. And so the fact that I easily let you go um, and I'm not letting Queen Naomi go should let you know that there's something special about Queen Naomi. And that is what I am doing so much, making so much effort to protect. Now, what is your interest in this issue with um, 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 between Queen Naomi and I? Why do you think that you have the power to stop what I feel for Queen Naomi? Why do you think that you 
um, 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 uh, uh, must do everything that is within your powers to ensure that Queen Ami leaves me. That are you out there and getting jealous of the fact that I am still going after Queen Ami? I didn't come after you. Now, the family of Urola should speak to Urola. That he is not going to talk about this again. They should know that Urola is coming for him and he is going to come for Urola. And tomorrow, nobody should sit back and tell him, why will you do that to a, a girl? Why will you do that to a woman? That the Urola is hurting him so much. That if Kwinami had gone by this time, it would have been because of Urola. Sorry about that. That Urola wanted to show Kwinami the way. Now, you know what's going on? You know, Urola comes from a royal family. When Oni of Ife was just coronated, some of these Ife priests who are still manipulating things in the palace of the Oni of Ife up until now, told the Oni of Ife that um, for, the, for his reign to go smoothly, that he needed to bring in a Bini blood to the throne so they can run the affairs of the throne together. And that is the way that Oni of Ife's reign was going to go smoothly. And that was how... <clears throat> They arranged this marriage between Wurola and Oni of Ife. And Wurola, Oni of Ife never loved Wurola. And Wurola, in turn, did not love Oni of Ife. It was purely arranged marriage, okay? You know, when it comes to this royal family, they do a lot of arranged marriage. None of them had, like, there was no love at all. You could see, now, have you not been seeing their pictures? It's not as if it's Dela Ram who is saying it. Where well, you will see them, no connection, nothing. They were just blank, both of them. From the very beginning, a lot of people could tell that that marriage was not even going to reach two years. It will hit the rock. And that was what happened. Um, but again, you do know that Wurala comes from a very traditional family, beneath traditional family, a royal one at that. And so they know a lot about this royalty, how to navigate it, and all of that. So when Wurala insisted she was leaving, the family had to make um, return only of Ife's bride price. They quickly did the traditional things to ensure that Wurala is free to live her life. And Oni obliged them immediately. Yes, Oni did not fight at all to keep Wurala, not for one day. When Wurala left, Wurala left. Oni freed Wurala immediately. And so the situation between Wurola and Kwinami are completely different, like two different situations, because Oni had to truly free Wurola because that was what he wanted. He was not in love with Wurola. He wanted better. He wanted a relationship. And then after a few years of Wurola's living, Oni met with Kwinami and fell helplessly with Kwinami and decided to get married to Kwinami. Now, two years later, Kwinami also left, or maybe three years later, Kwinami also left. And when Kwinami left, um, Wurola started making frantic efforts to ensure that Kwinami doesn't return back to the palace. Like Onua Vifair would say allegedly, that it is this collective victim mentality, like you and I, you, we suffered the same thing, the same fate, so let me be there to support you. Only telling Urola, like, look, um, you do not need to be there to support Quinami. Quinami has a very solid support system base. Quinami comes from a very, as in a closely knitted family. Like, they support her back to back. Quinami's support is not her problem, she has support uh, left, right, and center. And that is why you see even very difficult times, she's able, able, able to navigate it so smoothly and uh, fearlessly, okay? And that is why you see she, she glows every day and all of that. She has a very serious support system. Only telling Wurola, stay away from Queen Naomi. If you do not, I'm not going to say this to you anymore. I wanted to bring you this update. I'm going to bring you more. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.